Pixelmator Pro includes 29 powerful actions designed for the Shortcuts app on Mac. In this video, we'll explore how you can use these actions to create custom workflows and make image editing faster and easier. Let's start with a quick look at the Shortcuts app itself. When you open the app, if you haven't used it before, you'll see some starter shortcuts, the sidebar on the left, and a toolbar. As for us, we've already got a few shortcuts in our collection. To create a new shortcut, you can click the plus button in the toolbar. Here, you can add actions to build your shortcut. If you'd like to find all Pixelmator Pro actions, simply type Pixelmator Pro into the search field in the sidebar on the right. You'll find actions for a wide range of image editing tasks, from converting images and replacing layers in documents, to our powerful machine learning tools like ML Enhance and Super Resolution. Let's say you'd like to automatically enhance a series of images using ML Enhance. Simply double click the action in the sidebar on the right, click the image property and select as many images as you like. For now, we'll try things out with just one image. Once you've selected your images, click open. Of course, you'll probably want to save your edited images as well. To do this, simply search for the save file action and add it to your shortcut. Some actions, like Save File, will have more options. Click Show More to reveal them. In this case, you could turn off Ask Where to Save and choose a location to always save the files to the same place, but we'll leave this turned on. If you run the action now, you'll be prompted for a location to save your enhanced images. Easy as that. In addition to running shortcuts from the Shortcuts app directly, you can create quick actions that are accessible anywhere in the Finder app. You can even turn an existing shortcut into a quick action in just a few steps. Let's see how that works with a shortcut that replaces one text with another in a Pixelmator Pro document. To convert the shortcut into a quick action, open the Shortcut Details tab on the right, then select Use as Quick Action in the sidebar. Make sure to select Finder as a location where the quick action appears. At the top, you'll see that this shortcut will now receive input from quick actions in the Finder. This means any manual file selection prompts are no longer needed. If your workflow has any, feel free to remove them and change file variables to shortcut input instead. This way, the shortcut will use the files you select from Finder. Now let's open the Finder app and select some documents. Then control click one of them, go down to Quick Actions and run the shortcut. In this case, we'll work on replacing the sale offer in these three templates. We'll enter the text we want to replace and the new text we'd like to use. Once all the images have been processed, you'll be prompted for a location to save your files. When the open dialog appears, choose where you'd like to save the images and click Open. And that's it. All the edited documents have appeared in the location we've just chosen. To explore some more advanced automations, let's create a shortcut that takes a series of photos with people, automatically separates the subject and the background, and then turns the background black and white. First, add the file action and select some photos that include people as the main subject. Now add the action called Repeat with Each, which creates a loop that will repeat the same actions with each of the images we selected earlier. Once you've done that, add the action called Get Person Mask from Photo. Once we have the mask, we'll need to apply an adjustment preset to the files and add the mask. Search for the Apply Color Adjustment Preset action and double-click to apply it. Right now, no adjustment preset is selected, the adjustments will be applied to the mask image, and there is no mask image selected either, so we'll need to fix all of that. First, select an adjustment preset. We'll be using one from the black and white collection. Now, control click the second property and choose Repeat Item. Now that we've done that, the adjustment preset will be applied to each file rather than the mask. Then, for the mask image, control click the property and choose Select Variable. 
then click Subject Mask. Finally, add a Save File action to be prompted for a location to save your edited files. Now we can run the action and see if everything works as it should. Here's the prompt for a location to save our files. Let's choose the same location as the original files. And now, let's take a look at just what our action did. Pretty magical. The last thing we'll take a look at is how to share a shortcut. First, let's give our shortcut a name. And now, let's customize its icon and color. To do that, click the icon in the toolbar and choose a new color and icon. Then, to share your shortcut, open the File menu. Here, you'll find two ways to share shortcuts by exporting the shortcuts file or sharing an iCloud link to your shortcut. We'll export the file. To do that, simply choose Export and choose a location to save the file. Now you can share the file with anyone else who would like to use your shortcut. So that was a quick look at how Shortcuts and Pixelmator Pro can work together to help make your workflows faster and even more powerful. Have fun creating your own shortcuts and if you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments below.